Done. Welcome, welcome, Mons. This is your Avid Movie Guy here, Mikey Khan, and welcome to another great episode of Khan's Potatoes. about you the recent blockbuster hit doom part two that's right doom part two out in theaters right now the plot of doom part two is that paul atreides with his mother are now part of the group the free men as they try to do whatever they can to get revenge on the House of Arconians, the Emperor, and everyone who was responsible for the destruction of his family. Along the way, Paul has a difficult decision to choose between his love interest for Chani and for his leadermanship for one day of ruling the entire planet of Arrakis and eventually becoming Emperor. The film is once again directed by Denis Villeneuve, who is known to direct many sci-fi films such as Blade Runner 2049 and along with Sicario. The film, once again, has a big blockbuster cast of all different film franchises, such as Marvel, Mission Impossible, and so on. Such as Timothy Calumet, and also known as Timothy Calumet, I'm just saying. Zendaya, Rebecca Ferguson, Josh Brolin, Austin Butler, Florence Pugh, Dave Bautista, Christopher Walken, Stellan Skarsgård, and Javier Bardem. Alright, where do I begin on my thoughts? I mean, from the minute, or from the very first second I seen this film, like, it's just beyond masterful. Like, it's a complete masterpiece. Like, once again, Denis Villeneuve does an excellent job on his direction, the sound editing, the cinematography, the visual effects, the incredible composing score by Hans Zimmer, still one of the greatest musical composers in the film industry of our generation. And the cast is just phenomenal. Like, Timothy, I know, Timothy Calumet, he does an incredible job as Paul Atreides once again. Zendaya is strong. Austin Butler's role is like so psychotic as a villain, yet he looks like a pale Jeffrey Dahmer of some sort, and yet he still can't get rid of the Elvis voice, but does an incredible job. Florence Pooh, like, does a good job in her role, and she is very beautiful, if I must say. How the hell is Josh Brolin alive after the first film, yet... He still does a very good job in this film right here. I'll give him that, for sure. When it comes to doing movie franchises, not many film sequels do that good as much as the original one, or better than the original one. But this film in particular, Doom Part 2, does a phenomenal job, all in all. Especially in IMAX. This film also has a cameo appearance by Anya Taylor-Joy, who plays the unborn sister of Paul Atreides. Yet, she is very important to the film because it gives her mother the confidence into making Paul people believe that he is the prophecy as the next leader for the planet Atreides. Like, her cameo was very great. That makes me very excited to see her in the upcoming film, Mad Max Furiosa, which is a prequel to the other Mad Max film, Mad Max Fury Road, that starred Tom Hardy and Charlize Theron. And now... The review of the film out of 10, I've rated out of how many potatoes I have in my kitchen. And the official score for Doom Part 2 is... Doom! So there you go. The official rating of the film Doom Part 2. That's right, the official rating for Doom Part 2. Every week I will be on YouTube and Instagram rating new movies as I see them in theaters and rating them based upon how many potatoes I have in my kitchen on the score out of 10. Alright? For those of you who haven't done already, please like, follow, subscribe, Cons Potatoes on YouTube and Instagram. Have a great day, everybody. Doing it.